Hey there, why so sad? I got a problem with my internet radio station. I just can't get hold of anyone on the telephone. Who are you trying to speak with? Technical support at Space Shell. Ah, that explains it. They don't have an inbound telephone technical support number. Not anymore. That's just dumb, that is. No, makes perfect sense to me. What do you mean? Tell me, have you ever been in a long queue? I guess. At the bank or the post office? Yeah, I seem to spend half my life in a queue someplace. And just when you get to the front of the queue, the person you need to speak with answers the telephone. Oh yeah, I hate it when that happens. Makes me so mad. Well, think of technical support in the same way. What do you mean? With a ticket-based support system, each customer request is dealt with in the order it's received. The first ticket received is the first ticket answered, yes? Yeah, so just like the queue in the bank, is it? Yes. So how would you feel if tech support were about to answer your ticket, but they answered their phone instead? How would you feel if they then spent the next hour dealing with a customer who jumped the queue by making a phone call? I don't think I'd care if I didn't know it was happening. That's a fair point. But you would care if your ticket wasn't responded to quickly, yes? Yeah. This is what Spatial realised, and to provide the best overall support experience, they took away their inbound telephone number. Anyway, why do you keep referring to an inbound telephone number? They also realised that with customers in over 150 countries around the world, it just wasn't fair to have one number in one country, so they switched to outbound telephone support. What's that? That's when Spatial calls you, based on the problem you report through the help desk. If a telephone call is the best way to resolve your problem, but... But? <laughs> but? But the telephone is not the best medium to provide technical support. With support tickets, error messages can be copied and pasted into the ticket. The support system Spatial uses allows customers to make short videos, recording their steps taken to produce the problem, and screenshots can also be attached. This type of information makes troubleshooting so much simpler. So what you say is that if I raise a ticket and ask for a telephone call, Spatial will call me, no matter where I am in the world. Even Wales? If a telephone call is the best way to resolve the problem, and if you have an active subscription, then yes, Spatial will call you, so the call costs you nothing. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's what Spatial thought. But do you know what the best bit is? No, tell me. If you raise a support ticket and have an active subscription, one of the Spatial tech support team can connect to your computer remotely and provide immediate direct assistance, either to resolve a problem, answer any questions you might have, or to provide some software training. I didn't know that. How can I make that happen? Everything starts with the humble support ticket. Simply register a support account if you don't already have one at support.spatial.com and if you have any problems or questions, just raise a new support ticket. Okay, that sounds great. Is there anything else you can tell me? Well, the support team is available from 4am CST until 4pm CST, Monday through Friday, and most of the tickets received during these hours are responded to within the first hour. If you're going to create a support account, you should use the email address the Spatial software or product is listed under. This ensures that Spatial can quickly locate your account and it helps protect your investment. What do you mean, helps protect my investment? Would you be happy if someone pretended to be you, raised the support ticket and was able to receive support for your license? No way, not at all that. Well, to help prevent this, Spatial will only provide support to tickets received from the registered email address. If you purchase your Spatial software or service under a different email address, you can simply log into your Spatial user zone and update your email address. By ensuring Spatial is only supporting the legitimate customer, Spatial is helping to protect your investment. Oh, that makes sense. There is one more thing I should tell you. Go on, what's that? If you have a serious problem, you can set the priority of your ticket to high or urgent and Spatial will respond accordingly. But submitting multiple tickets for the same issue actually slows down the support. Explain that. Well, instead of dealing with one ticket per problem, the Spatial support team now have to respond to the first ticket and then close the duplicate tickets to help prevent any confusion. Also, you might include additional pertinent information in a subsequent ticket, which would be better in the original ticket, so consider what you want to tell Spatial, include all relevant information in one ticket, and Spatial will assist you. Alright, got it. If you have a problem, question, or just need some advice with your Spatial software or services, simply raise a support ticket at support.spatial.com, and we will help you with any problems and answer any questions you might have. But it all starts with a simple support ticket.